Today, friends, we are going to be upgrading this GR86. Now, I kind of wanted to structure this a little bit differently and also just rise the poo, -poo out of it. So people were asking for the best upgrade path on how to upgrade a car. So we'll do it in this video. First up, we're going to buy this thing, add it to the collection. I don't think I've actually driven this version of the car yet. Of course, the GT8, I'm going to call it the GT86 at some point for sure. So I created a lot of demonstrations to show you what happens if you build a car incorrectly in Gran Turismo. This is going to be the very basics, but I want, I, I want to give you the tools to begin building cars in Gran Turismo 7. This is me just trying to accelerate. This is me trying to go in a straight line. And a lot of you already know what the issue is here. It could be, oh, it's this, it's that. Trust me, we're going to get to it. But this was literally me trying to go in a straight line. It just, it just, it, it, it doesn't stop. Look at it. It is kind of a cool show though, to be fair. Trying to keep it, ah, and he's gone again. It looks pretty cool though. Okay, let's move on. The tuning shop is the first place you'll come. And of course, at the beginning of the game, it's not that much of an issue because you'll just begin doing the obvious upgrades that are available. But as you get later into the game and you start with a lower end car, especially, especially an old car, you're going to think, all right, I want to give it some more power, baby. Well, the first thing, the very first thing I would recommend you do, as you can see, our PP in the top corner kind of gives an indicator as to what performance level we are at. Don't throw in power. It's very tempting, I know. But the very first thing you should do, especially in an old car, maybe less so on this car, but go for racing soft. If you don't have that unlocked, go back a couple of pages and you'll have the sports soft. Go for soft tires. If I put these on instantly, look at my PP. It's gone a little bit mad to say the least. But this changes it from slipping everywhere on an old car or on this car, just actually being able to put its power down properly. Super important that you do that. Now, at this stage, you can basically start to throw in power if you want to. What I tend to do, though, is go for suspension. Because what you'll find is if you get more power, it's gonna start ricketing all over the shop. Even if you put good brakes on, it's just not gonna be very well balanced. Suspension should always be a second mod. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so we're just gonna start by putting on suspensions and tires. Sorted. A quick and easy way to reduce even more wobble is when you've got the suspension on, just lower it all the way. Go all the way. And again, of course, if you don't have this specific suspension, don't worry. Just put on the one that you do have and adjust it as low as possible. Now measure. Again, our PP has gone up by about four points. It's also slammed as hell, so uh, that's, a, that's a positive two right there. You can also change your tires on the go. So what I'm going to start off by doing is go for sports hard. This is what came on the car as standard. It may be a bit different depending on the car. You got to remember, we also do still have the suspension currently, which is definitely going to make us better anyway. But let's have a quick couple of corners with the car set up how it is. So you can already see it's about balanced for what it is, but it's got a little bit of sway. I'm not pushing it too hard because I'm a little bit worried that back end is going to fly out. Tires on this game are insane king like for example i have no traction enabled in the slightest here we go get that suspension in play see as you can tell i'm properly used to having those grippy tires you can have some fun with these though okay let's swap onto our racing softs here we go first attempt of the day it's been, it's been a little bit. It's fine. It's a low car. It's got like no power whatsoever. Bring it to slow down. And we're going to go in. Again, don't follow me for the best racing line. But as you can see, we are getting more out of this car already. It's, it's putting its power down properly. And again, especially with an older vehicle, you definitely want to do this for sure. Let's slam on the brake. I'm going early. And uh, go for it. You really don't need to go early, but... I made a mistake. I've kind of gone out a little bit, but these tires are holding me down. Get your tires and suspension. Then let's go stage two. Not the stage two that you normally think. In fact, probably a bit more than that. We're back on the menu. And what I'm going to say, realistically, after this point, you are fully welcome to just whack in power. I'm going to go a little bit mad with my power. So I'm going to go for all the intercoolers, all the turbos, all the racing filters, all the things like that, because this car, well, she needs them. The exhausts, they're almost like a multiplier. You already know these things, I'm sure. Put your racing clutch and flywheel, anti-lag if possible. Stroke up your engine, because why the heck not? 
balance, as you do. Let's get it. Everything power. Racing crank in a GI86. Uh, yes, please. ECU. Very important. Let's put that in there. And then honestly, any other little bits that you can find yourself to put in. For example, operated pistons and camshafts and whatnot. Okay, that's your power mods done. So let's give it a go. This is going to sound much, much more meaty. All right, so we've got our nice setup on now. And as you can see, there's a couple of things letting us down already. That's no problem, though. You can probably get away with majority of cars with just doing this. Oh my god, is it, it's gone single tip. That is a sick I didn't even know that was something. It's literally gone single tip because we operated the exhaust. That is very freaking cool. All right, on the brakes. Uh, not as reliable as you would hope. But we have a lot of power, and these tires are really saving us. Again, no traction is on. This thing is rear-wheel drive, and it's still pretty damn solid. What if, for example, we didn't do the tires? Let's find out. Here we go. First corner, we've got a lot of power. And the tires... Definitely a handhold. They are ridiculous. If... <laughs> Put your tires on. There should be no bloody excuse now. I, you, you would die. That would be death. Okay, it wouldn't, but... Now, realistically, it's pretty obvious where you need to go from here. All of your money is spent on your brake system. So you can go for carbon ceramics, or you can go for these. These are literally, from experience, I don't really see much difference in them on actual uh, races in the game. Put your abrasive pads on there. And honestly, you're kind of done. Of course, you can do your torque vector differentials and such. That's... The basics, depending on where you started, you may have an issue with your gearing, which is where your gearbox should also come in. It's a good idea to get it anyway, but I've actually found it's pretty lenient. You don't need to get it unless it's a, usually a really old car or, for example, you've properly built it out like we have. So you need to install your gearbox too. So we're going to install our LSD just because. If you're going to install your anti-lag, make sure that you turn it on we don't have anti-lag on this car and of course once you install the fully customizable gearbox make sure you do check that it is uh, possible to get to your top speed that you'd only install it if you really ran into an issue with your gearing which is not a huge issue in this game from what i've experienced but yes because it's in euros <laughs> but you can actually see an optimal speed based on your performance points so if i for example just do the basic of editing just the top speed and press update going up there has made it go down and the pp this has gone up this has gone up this has gone down slightly so there is our optimal top speed 320 as i said you can do a fully manual adjustment if you want to but i've again not really found that to be much of an issue the gearing on this game is actually pretty damn solid and that's pretty much gonna cover you for the majority of the game. No no problem. The only stage after that that we really need to focus on is weight reduction and weight reduction and, well, you guessed it, more weight reduction. Improve the rigidity, which could lead you on to one final issue with your car. It's too fast. Well, that's where the next things come into play, which is, for example, the ballasts, which you can add weight or distribute weight in your car. What's that? You have to change your tires to intermediates for rain. Well, that's no problem. Let's install the intermediates. And we've gone down 50 pp. Do you know what that means? More power, baby! You can tune your ECU to reduce power. You can actually do a power restrictor. I've, again, not really found much of an issue in doing any of these. I'm sure if you're optimal, it will matter specifically. But... And that's pretty much it. Those are the stages that I upgrade and customize my cars in Gran Turismo. I'm going to install a wide body, which does actually help. From what I think, it obviously increases the width. And I think it increases... So the tire width doesn't necessarily seem to really make much of a difference. I think it's on the wide body, then doing wide wheels. Seems to kind of simulate having a wider track width. At least that's what I've experienced. Does it? I, I, I couldn't tell you right now. We're going to install this wide body. We're going to finish customizing this GR86 and then we're going to give it a blast around the track because I'm very excited to try it. Ain't no slow boy, no more. Pick the wheels you like. I'm going to go for some BBS. See the side profile? We can make them fit. All nice and good. We can put some chonky boys on there. Woo! 
Do some customization on the bumper and stuff. Because again, I just want to generally customize this car now. It's a two-in-one video. Can you believe it? Diffuser, skirt, bumper, and of course, we need a wang on there as well. We've got a custom wang. We go for a medium or a lot. That is sick. It's like curved. Stunning. Install. Which also incre increases our aero a little bit. We got those upgraded brakes, so we can change the caliper color. As we already know, though, red does mean it's faster. That's a lie. It's, it's not actually true. Some final little bits before we give it a go. This nitrous system... Very cool. You try it out, but very much only get it as like an end game thing. Uh, the hydro handbrake, steering adapter stuff, all more so for the drifting side of things. So don't put it on your race car unless you have different pages, different modes. You have the four wheel steering controller. Now the new engine and new body, basically you don't really need to touch these really. This is a new engine. Yes, it's not an engine swap. It is purchasing the engine that's in the car for the car again so this ain't engine swaps but apparently you can't engine swap i've not seen it yet but I've, I've heard of it i've heard of it it's if you want to do a refresh of your car and here we are in our fully done up okay not fully done up but mostly fully done up gr86 looking pretty good i've got to say these rear tail lights have grown on me pretty tremendously i'm gonna try this in the third person because i know a lot of people will want to see that now don't expect these tires to hold every single thing you do you, you probably will have a couple of little accidents. And if the car is still too much to hun handle, put a little bit of traction control on. But realistically, at this point, I don't think you will actually need to. You just kind of got to be smoother with your inputs. And it's a lot easier with a wheel is what I'll say. Much, much easier with a wheel because it's literally so much more control over the car. As you can see, catching that on a wheel is realistically so much easier. Most of my slip-ups are literally because I'm trying to get past this bloody AI and I'm going around in the most awkward possible ways. Let's get it! But this thing feels solid, like properly solid. I'm not worried about giving it the beans as soon as I've got out a corner, even touching the grass a little bit there, no problem. It also makes a pretty good noise as well. <laughs> Move out of the way, big brother, little brother. I don't even know. Flat out, flat out, flat out, flat out. Very good. Keep hold of that speed then. Move out of the way, big all-wheel drive piece of poopoo. -poo. We don't need all-wheel drive at a PO. We got the pants. Basic, basic tunes. Break late, break late, break late. Way too late, but we still caught it. The tires and brakes are definitely... Definitely a big help. Move out of the way, Focus RS. I'm just I'm walking past every single one of you. It's a little bit of a slip. I saw it going. We caught it. No problem. Here's our main competition. All in a nice big pack. Blocking our path. Cheers, guys. This is exactly what we need. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm being a bully. Squeeze! On the power. Ooh. I'm sorry, Porsche man. Now, considering this thing is just something I've whipped together and really, really didn't put much time into tuning at all. It's just the very basics. It's pretty damn impressive to me how stable this is. I've just this demolished an all-wheel drive GTR. Get in the bin, sire. We're on the third lap. We've still got three laps to go, essentially. It's, uh... It holds pretty well, this GR86. As you can see, the guy with the tires and suspension not only wins the race by an absolute mile, he or she or they or them gets all the glory, all the money, all the everything you could want. Now, what if I thought, hmm, I don't need tires. <laughs> Who needs tires, Theo? Just throttle control. Okay, how about I give it a go? Let's try it with these tires. I'll try and keep my cool. I'll try and be quick. Be careful. <sighs> All right, it's holding the... Uh, yep, not quite holding the road the same. A bit more uh, understeer. Oh, God. Yeah, I would have been able to do that. This is... Uh, fine. Still passing people. Just a little bit more... Uh, snappy, snappy. No problem. On the brakes. A little bit early because I don't trust my... Yep. Can't carry that speed. Okay. Yep, we got the way. Super, super, super. You better be careful, buddy. I can't grip the road. I can't grip the road. So, so you better. 
I can do some skids, though. <laughs> All this time, I'm fighting the back of the pack. Fighting my own tires, is what I should say. Everybody at the front pack is actually breaking off from us. That's uh, not ideal. Foot down, foot down, foot down, foot down. We need to make some up, some time up. Oh, no. It's fine, we caught it. No, it's not. Oh, what a mess. I get nothing. I lose. Except the miles, because I did quit. There you go, how to upgrade your car, the basics in Gran Turismo 7. Hopefully you enjoyed, I know a lot of you guys will understand this, but if you watched it anyway, it's appreciated. Smash the like, subscribe, and peace.